what is up guys welcome back to another video like i said in my other video my my muhammad son video i've been watching a little bit of ruthless aggression um on peacock go sign up if you want to watch okay um so i've been watching a little bit of ruthless aggression and that and i got taken into a world it was just enjoyment. Like I didn't. It was no. It wasn't just a moment in the or in the show that I just said, "Oh my God, this sucks." No, it never been that moment. It never been a moment in the show in the Rules of Progression, Raws or SmackDown that I went, "This fucking sucks." The only thing I didn't like. The only thing. The only things I didn't like was, um freaking Lita the baby shit when um I didn't like freaking uh Snitsky Snitsky was cringe and hiding right I mean hiding right right that's the only thing that I didn't like in the Roots of Aggression and I went on that time and I went in that time and I felt enjoyment I didn't feel that I, I didn't feel that I wanted to tear my freaking my hair out of my skull um, this video is basically about how to make the product better. Simple ways that will make the product better. Number one, number one, better commentary. Matter of fact, first of all, better shows. Because if the, if, if the shows is bad, the commentary is bad. You can't have, uh, you can't have good commentary with a bad show. It that never had that never happened before. It, the the moments back then, I um when uh, I go back to good commentary was when uh Tyson and uh and uh Austin when um Stone Cold Steve Austin put up the middle finger at Tyson, at, uh Tyson um yeah at Tyson, and he pushed him and and then the security and all that stuff and then we hear Jr. Tyson and Austin Tyson yeah that that was good commentary. And it's so, and I go on to on and on and on about good commentary. Michael Cole was even good at one one point in the Ruthless Aggression era. But now it feels like the the commentary is bland. And the reason why the commentary is bland now is because how bad the shows are. If the shows is continually good, they don't always gotta be um nonstop. They don't always gotta be. Oh, something crazy always happen every week. That don't always have to happen. But we need, and first of all, can we get, and the shows don't always got to be the same. Sometimes, let a comment, like a, uh, let some, somebody brawl out in a parking lot or something. Have somebody, um, do, like, have somebody, uh, brawl out in a freaking, uh, like, like, uh, Alex said, like just Alex said, in a grocery store. Have um, some, have something. Have somebody destroy a vehicle. Do something. Have, make wrestling fun. And another thing, make Raw three hours. Make Raw three hours. Because it's hard to, it's so hard to deal with three hours of Raw every fucking week. That's what makes the shows bad. That's what makes the show bad. Seeing that, that, like, come on, we barely get anything anymore in wrestling, and please, can we stop, can you stop making your champions look like, you know, no, making your challengers look weak, and stop making your champions lose stop making champions lose without the championship is on, is on the line because if they got the championship because if if they're losing w with the championship not even on the line what is the point of them being champion if they can't even fight uh, if they if the championship is not on the line and they lose that basically means you're not worthy enough to be to be champion if you're losing 
a ma- if you're uh, losing a match on Raw, like okay, when t- if somebody um um went dirty, okay, I'll give you that. But if somebody beat the champion clean without the championship being on the line, you should not be champion. You should not be champion. And I would say change the title, change the freaking designs of the titles, but no, we don't need that. We don't need that. And make your stories better. Stop dropping stories. Stop go, um, beginning a story and you drop it when it's even not even done. Y'all did that with the Raven story, the Aaliyah and Buddy Murphy storyline. Buddy Murphy had to add his own ending to the story. Like, come on, bro. Stop cutting your story. Stop cutting your stories. It don't got to be good. Matter of fact, you need to start creating your stories better. And this is another thing. Make Raw and SmackDown both unique. Raw and SmackDown don't got to be the same. Raw should be like a place where like younger stars go like another nxt that's what i would do that's what i would put raw where like the younger talent like seth rollins people like ricochet uh, um alistair black the fiend like johnny gargano adam cole people those people go over there while people like roman reigns people like brock lesnar go over to smackdown so have SmackDown like more like a sports show and have Raw kind of like for the hardcore fans. SmackDown for the casuals, Raw for the hardcore. Make NXT, make Raw like NXT. And make larger than life characters. Roman Reigns was one of them. Roman Reigns is definitely one of them. I would look in the future of seeing Roman Reigns is a future Hall of Famer. Roman Reigns with his probable chief character, finally Vince McMahon giving in to the heel character, finally making him turn heel. That's what, that's what we always wanted. We don't want to see corporate Roman Reigns. Corporate Roman Reigns suck. No matter how people try to flip it around, corporate Roman Reigns fucking suck. Now he's a megastar. Now he's on the level of The Rock. Now he's on the level of John Cena. Make more stars like that. Make more stars like that. And I know why um, Vince McMahon don't want to make stars like that. It's because everybody that he made mega stars turned their backs on him. Turn, turn their backs on Vince McMahon. Batista. The Rock. There, are, he's afraid that is going. That's going to happen again. Who else that could be a mega star? Who else that's a mega star right now? Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is a mega star. When I look at her, I look at Stone Cold. That's that is the character that she remind me of. Stone Cold. She's not on pregnancy right now, but she's going to come back and be the, one of the biggest women in this company. And another thing, speaking of women, can you go all out with the women? Can you go all out with the women? Stop doing silly stuff with the women. Make them put, make them put on classics like the men. Make them do stuff that the men that the men is doing. Hey, like, come on. You got Nia Jax slipping on freaking water. No. That is not what AJ Lee wanted. That is not what Gail Kim wanted. They wanted the women to finally get a chance. Do you want give women a chance, give Divas a chance, now give women a chance to go wild again? Because how you're building your women's division suck. Your women's division right now and how you're building your women's division suck. It sucks. It sucks. Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Ronda Rousey is not gonna be here. Um, it's not gonna be here, and even in Char- even Charlotte, and they're not gonna be here in in the next um few years or so. They're gonna be retired. 
They're going to be movie stars. You got to start making new stars. Same with the women. Same with the men, I meant. Roman Reigns is not going to be here. It's not going to be here for um, a lot of time. Seth Rollins is not going to be here for a lot of time. J- um, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. All these people that you're pushing, is all these wrestlers that you're pushing is not going to be here when, when in 10 years, let's say. They're going to be retired or they're going to be in the, even in the Hall of Fame or being a movie star. Edge is not going to be here. Daniel Bryan is probably retired. Build new stars. Build new stars. People like people like Johnny Gargano. People like Tommaso Ciampa. People like Adam Cole. Baby, stop allowing st- your mo- your stop allowing your mo- stop. Basically, this is what I'm trying to say. Stop allowing on people like Roman Reigns. Cause they're gonna leave you. Roman Reigns is a megastar. Don't get me wrong. But you gotta build towards the future. Somebody like Alistair Black. Undertaker is gone. The Rock is gone. John Cena is gone. Batista is gone. He's never wrestling again. You gotta start building up new stars. That's my. That's my. Problem. And that's how to fix WWE, how to make wrestling, how to make WWE be around for the for generations and generations and generations and generations. That's how to make WWE be around for that long. Give me your thoughts down below. See you guys next time. Peace out.